with this month being designated as a time for increasing awareness about suicide, local organizations are highlighting education efforts. Isabella Warren learned how they're uniting the community. Central Oregon Suicide Prevention Alliance is working with Deschutes County this month to educate community members on a growing mental health crisis. Knowing all the statistics and um, that this is a health issue we all want to be involved in, it's really important for us to, to prevent suicide. Every year, the Suicide Prevention Alliance gathers data on suicide deaths in the area. On average, three people die by suicide every month in Central Oregon. And nationally, about 50% of the population has been affected in some way by suicide. The Central Oregon Alliance is hosting events throughout the month to unite the community and raise awareness. What we know is that one of the most tangible things that we can do to prevent suicide is become trained in the warning signs that someone might be at risk and learn um, how to intervene with them and then how to um, move them on and provide resources and referrals so that they can access help and support um, to work through their crisis. Starting conversation and destigmatizing mental health are among the goals for the Alliance. By us being able to talk openly um, that this is a health issue, um, trying to destigmatize the conversation, recognizing that a lot of us um, have uh, ups and downs and mental health, um, you know, issues throughout our lives, that that is something that's just a part of being a human being. During September, multiple events will be held for community members affected by suicide and those who want to learn more about prevention. On Thursday the 28th, there's an education event at the Deschutes County Library with a focus on learning to talk to those with mental health issues. Over 90% of their calls can be de-escalated just on a phone call just by, or a text by listening to someone and letting them share what they're up against and not having to involve emergency services or any other crisis supports. So from that data, we can, you know, we know that just listening and talking to people can be really um, effective. If you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, you can call or text the suicide hotline at 988. In Bend, Isabella Warren, News Channel 21.